now your host. He is the roast master of roast battle, Brian Motherfucking Moses. It's a different night. We're not chanting battle. We're chanting USA tonight. Welcome to a very, very, very special episode of Rose Battle. Uh, this is this is our Christmas. This is 9/11 Eve. And here at the Rose Battle, we always celebrate 9/11 to the fucking fullest. Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Look, man. Look, you heard what he said in the beginning right there. This show is about the consent of hate speech and all the fun stuff that goes along with it. 9-11 is a celebration of terrorism in this country. And God damn it, that's what we're celebrating tonight. Terrorism. I brought my hater in the house. He's representing gang violence for the black people. Yeah. Yeah. I brought my man who's half Middle Eastern, half Indian, representing them fucking foreigners. And now I brought four of the baddest white boys ever, representing the greatest terrorists in human history, them white boys. School shooters, mass shooters, domestic terrorists, pedophiles, all the great terrorism that runs in this country, represented all through those templates right there. A white guy that can't talk, a redneck, a handsome white guy who thinks he's black. And Jay Light and those nigger lips. Welcome to Terrorism Night, everybody. We excited? Damn right. Damn right. Damn right. Oh, man, we used to do this 11 years ago, uh, you know, because this has been going on for like 24 or something years. 9-11, um, you remember, you can't forget. But we like to say that terrorism wins every Tuesday, so we're holding tradition tonight. All right, let's have some fun tonight, man. Um, Hater, good to see you tonight. What's up, man? What's up? How you up? feeling? I'm doing great. I watched that presidential debate, you know, and I like the way that you started this show, you know, giving great honor to this country. Damn the right. two niggas that are running for president are retarded. Yeah. Um, but we're going to do what we have to do as Americans. We always survive. Is that right, guys? Yeah. That damn right. Oh, and I got a bunch of Bob's liquor here. Okay. For, we may even give some losers some shit. We got uh, yeah. OJ Simpson shirts. A good black terrorist. Hey! Um, one of the greatest black terrorists in history. We do have uh, holist romantic shirts. Uh, oh, oh, hey, shit, yeah. Hoes are some of the biggest terrorists I know. Just fucking assaulting my heart. Yeah, you know, and, and, and good jackets, good jackets. Good jackets, all right, good, thank you. Shout, Shout out, out Bob's to Bob's Liquor. Liquor. Shout out Bob's Liquor. We have to do this Atlanta thing every time. We do some bootleg sales. This is tradition. All right, let's get into this, man. I'm excited. Yeah. Before I start fucking eating cats and ducks. Um, <laughs> hungry. Are you Haitian? Uh, I am tonight. Hey! Haitian, Haitian. Oh, Haitians. Hate. Interesting. You you went two races. I, I went with what Trump said tonight. I thought you were tonight. just yeah. I just thought. I went with what Trump said. Because you're a said. hater. You're just like a Haitian. I was like, oh, okay. You're just talking about yourself now. All right. Um, let's get into this, man. This lady's never done this before. Oh, sorry. This is a fella from Huntington Beach. He's a virgin. Make a love for Sean Fayez. Hell yeah, what up, Sean? There you go. Nice. nice. What's up, Belly Room? <laughs> <laughs> Sean, what happened? Uh, this is what happens when a kid from the suburbs tries crip walking to not like us. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I broke into my jujitsu class. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Niggas really whooping feet. All right. Um, <laughs> Sean, why Gabby Vargas? Because she's just loud and annoying, and for my Make-A-Wish, I'd want nothing more than to shut her up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is a Make-A-Wish. Uh, this woman's nine and six from New York. Make it loud for Gabby Vargas! <laughs> Woo! Okay. Brrrah! What up? 
Gabby, is this how bad it's getting? You got a fucking, you're, uh, you're dating dudes with broken feet now? Whoa, 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 whoa. You think this guy's ever touched a boo before? <laughs> what? All right, so what happened here? Who called who out? Why are you guys doing this to each other? I thought I'd give him a break from making onion volcanoes at Benihana, you know? So was... <laughs> well, let's have fun. Gabby's one of the stronger roasters here. Sean is a virgin to this stage. We're doing three jokes. Who's going first? You got it? Man, it's a gentleman. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our first battle of the night. Sean Fiez, Gabby Vargas. Are we ready? Let's roll! Gabby looks like Emma Stone if her easy A was alcoholism. <laughs> the only easy A happening is the assault you're doing on those eyes with the skid row toes over here. Crusty ass Vienna sausages. Sean says that he broke his leg doing jujitsu, but he should have stuck with what he knows. A uh, jack on, jack off. Uh, he looks like Mr. Miyagi. I love Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy Issues Yankee. <laughs> you call yourself Cat Daddy on your dating profile. That's the only pussy that you even go home to. The only thing you're eating out is a TV dinner. <laughs> Guys, recently, Gabby made her professional wrestling debut. Give it up for her. Damn right, baby. I'll break your other leg, too. Yeah, it makes sense why she would want to get in the ring since her boyfriend of nine years won't get her one. Your fiancé left you at the altar, dog. <laughs> the fuck, man? You look like Harold fucked Kumar in the White Castle bathroom. <laughs> That's how you fucking end it. Keep it going for uh, Oscar De La Hoya and uh, Holly Saunders, everybody. All right, hatred. What'd you think about this? It was quick, it was fast, it was Hispanic. Um, I'm gonna give it to Gabby. You don't wanna say anything about this, huh? I, I didn't like it, but I'm gonna just give it. They, they <laughs> laughed. I mean, you could just push Bob's liquor if you wanted to, but it's all good. Sean, what, uh, what ethnicity are you? What's, what are you pushing right now? I'm half Lebanese, half Taiwan. Which one? What are you doing? So I'm half Lebanese, half Taiwanese. What? Always on his knees. <laughs> this audience likes to rhyme. All right, let's, uh, let's go to my board of terrorism over here. Let's... Um, Let's start with a sweet young school shooter. Let's go with uh, Jay Light here. Jay, what did you like about this West Side Story? Not much. Uh, <laughs> I did like that we got a wrestler versus a guy who looks like he got molested wrestling his uncle. <laughs> I think it was a bad sign that for most of the battle, the comics in the back yelling things were getting bigger laughs than anything either of you two were doing on stage. Uh, but I did, I mean, Gabby, you saved it with... Literally the only funny thing that anyone said on stage that whole battle with, with the Harold fucked Kumar line. So great job. I feel like we should have known that you were half Taiwanese before the battle started. Uh, I feel like that would have made a lot of your jokes work instead of making everybody fucking confused. Nice. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Can I tell that he's Asian? He just looks like he's Down syndrome. Is that what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Um, let's, uh, let's go to Kevin. Uh, Kevin Mack here who is representing uh, handsome serial killers. Uh, <laughs> Who did you like here, Manti Teo or his girlfriend? It's a slow burn. Well, it's, uh, it's interesting that Sean's the only one with a broken foot because neither of these guys have a leg to stand on. <laughs> uh, Gabby, Gabby lo Gabby's what happens when you order a brat style on Timu. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's transitioning from stepsis to MILF porn right before our eyes. I fuck, uh, baby, let's go. But you did have, there was one hit in this whole battle, and it, it, was, it was that one big joke that Gabby landed, so I got to give this one to Gabby. Oh, okay, okay. All right, Billy Wayne, you're representing January 6th. Let's, um, 
So we're gonna do it here. Who do you like? Uh, one of the first responders that say Ricky Pearsall or the cop who arrested Tyreek Hill? <laughs> <laughs> Should have complied. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I mean, she's the only one that told a fucking joke. So, and I, my favorite part was when the audience was judging in real time. <laughs> that part was like, oh, when well, you guys were like, no. <laughs> so keep that up. Good job, audience. You kind of, I believe audience you won the first round. Audience won. These guys, nothing. Uh, everybody, Aaron Belial, we love this guy right here. <laughs> See him on America's Got Talent, Kill Tony. Yeah. Now he's on Rose Battle, his biggest credit yet. <laughs> Aaron, what'd you think about uh, these two people that, uh, that Tony calls the others? Sean looks like he broke his ankle chasing kids at the playground. Gabby looks like she would give the toothiest blow jobs of all time. And that's coming from me. That's crazy, Aaron. That is crazy. With that smile, it sounds like you're talking from experience. We match. It was so good. Look what happened to his arm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron Bala. All right, who'd you like here, Omi? Oh, great battle. Johnny Tsunami, you did fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hung too loose. You hung too loose. And um, your wife left you at the altar? You couldn't chase it. <laughs> what happened? You... you His fiance. There you go. All right, fucking cop. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, who'd you like? Do you like Rufio or uh, Taco Tank? I like both of you. Honestly, Sean, you look like you were about to start crying about three minutes ago, and you, you picked yourself back up right now. I'm glad you're not bawling. And uh, Gabby, the Harold and Kumar fucking in the bathroom equals you. Fucking great joke, so got to give to Gabby. All right. Audience, you heard what they all said. It's on you now. Who do you like? Do you like Sean Baez? <laughs> Come on. Come, all right. They can say disabled people. Okay. Uh, Gabby Vargas? <laughs> Keeps on winning. Came in here 9 and 6. Now 10 and 6. Gabby Vargas! Yeah, keep it going. One more time for Sean, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, bad up. What's up, everybody? RBL Commissioner Pat Barker here, and I wanted to take a second to talk to you about our newest sponsor, Auto Blow. But before I do, I want to take a second to talk about how we get these sponsors. You see, the process goes like this. What happens is we hire a guy who's supposed to go out and get sponsors, and he sits down with us and he goes, what kind of products do you want to advertise on your show? And we're like you know, whatever, as long as it's good. And he's like, okay, say no more. And then you don't hear from him for a week, and then you get an email out of nowhere. And he goes, hey, we have a, a new sponsor for you guys. It's called Auto Blow. And I'm like, neat. What do they do? And he's like, they make blowjob robots. And I'm like, excuse me? And he goes, it's a robot that sucks your, you know? I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I get it. But like, why are we advertising their product? And he goes, well, you said you wanted things that are good. I mean, what could be better than a, a robot that gives you head? And I'm like, well, that's a, Fair point, I guess. Um, yeah, okay, I guess I'll do a commercial. And he's like, they want a personal testimonial out of you. And I'm like, I don't know about that, dude. My mom watches this show. Are you crazy? And he's like, uh, it's already in the mail. They're sending it to you. Somebody bought it for you. And I'm like, wait, what? How'd they get my address? And he's like, it doesn't matter. Just uh, use the thing. And I'm like, well, okay, uh, I, I don't want to be an inconvenience. If it's already in the mail, I, I, I guess I'll do it. But do I have to talk about it on air? And he goes, this, listen, this is a, a breach of contract if you don't. And uh, you'll, you'll be sued for millions of dollars. So do you want to be sued for millions of dollars? And I said, I guess I'll let this robot suck my dick. Um, you might be asking now, did I actually use this product? Well, it depends, viewer. Are you my mom? If so, uh, no, of course not. What am I, some kind of pervert? 
Uh, if you're not my mom, yes, yes, I did. I used it many times. I figured this was a product I should sample many, many times because sometimes you really like something at first, but then you have to do it a bunch of times and you're like, ah, this actually kind of sucks. Like if your parents catch you smoking a cigarette when you're a kid and then they're like, oh, you like smoking cigarettes? You're going to smoke a whole carton of cigarettes. And by the end, you're like, I'm never going to smoke again. This was like that, except the opposite. I got literally like a carton full of uh, robot blowjobs and every one was better than the one before. I mean, my God, this thing really knows what it's doing. They say AI is going to take our jobs. And I don't know, generally speaking, if that's true, but for this guy, yeah, he's fired. Uh, uh, this is a, this is a, a revolutionary game changing product that is surely going to ruin my life. And I'm, I'm proud to endorse it here. Uh, and I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about how you can get in on the, the sexual future. No longer do you have to count on anyone else? This thing is perfect for everybody. Are you not getting enough blowjobs? This is for you. Are you getting too many blowjobs and you're just sick of getting them from like human women or men and you're just like, ah, no, I want something different. This is for you. Are you getting the exact perfect amount of blowjobs and you're in a harmonious relationship? This isn't for you now, but shit's gonna change in like six months. Trust me, it always does. It's never gonna stay this good forever. And when shit does change, you can come back here. We got you covered. Uh, with the auto blow, uh, Without further ado, let me tell you about the special deal that we have. You can get 10% off of the Vacu Glide or the Auto Blow Ultra. Either one. Options. What? Uh, when you use promo code ROAST at autoblow.com, that's promo code ROAST for 10% off the Vacu Glide or the Auto Blow Ultra at autoblow.com. Check out auto, autoblowme.com. I think that's a t I don't think it's autoblowme. I mean, you can, you can go to either one. Anyway, autoblow.com for more info. You're going to use the promo code ROAST. We get a percentage of the money, presumably. I, I don't know. I don't know how any of these deals work. Uh, as long as I get a robot that sucks my dick, that's all I ask for. Um, you're going to want one, too. Go to the website. Do the thing. I got to go. I have a date with the robot. Goodbye. All right. Just fun stuff tonight. Let's actually meet these guys tonight. All the way in the corner right there. He's written on uh, Master Chef, Battle Bots, two seasons of Rose Battle. Been on one season of Rose Battle. Make a lot for Jay Light, everybody. <laughs> Writer, director, director, actor, convict. Make a lot for Kevin McNamara. <laughs> this man's got a special on Hulu right now. He's got specials on Comedy Central. I love this cat, one of the greatest comics working right now, Billy Wayne Davis. <laughs> Kill Tony, America's Got Talent. He has annoyed them all. Make it loud, Aaron Belial. And the most tenured battler here at the Rose Battle. He's also got a special on YouTube called Lil Special. That's Omid Singh. Yay! All right, uh, who we got next? Let's see if they're here. Um, this guy's very funny. Make it loud for Christian Sinrood. Yeah? Not yet? Okay, cool. Fucking good. It's gonna be bad anyway. Uh, all right. Let's get to the main events. You guys are done. Sorry, you only get one battle to vote for. So let's get to these guys. Let's see if this is any better than that bullshit we just saw. Uh, I like this, Sean. He did get a laugh though, but it was when you asked them to vote for him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like no one clapped, they laughed. That that was funny. He's fucked up. He's still here, by the way. Guys, make a laugh for Sean Baez. Oh man, he's gonna come back with better jokes or a weapon. <laughs> we'll see which one. All right, this guy coming to the stage, exciting. Eight, three, and one, LA by way of... I can't read that. Make it loud for Phil Will! Yeah. Uncle Phil Will. What up, dog? What up, what up? Phil and William, make it loud for Phil Will, y'all. Can you read that? L.A. by the way of Atlanta. Oh, is that what it says? You yes. can't read Atlanta? Nigga, I couldn't see that. I'm sorry. Jesus You Christ. have extra eyes. What the fuck? <laughs> touche, nigga. Touche. Yeah. Wow. All right. This is Aladdin. Shit, you niggas. All right. <laughs> Phil Will, you're battling. Uh, welcome back, man. Good to see you. Shit. Good to see you. Yeah. Say hi, hater. Shit. Atlanta. What's up, my boy? We're supposed what to what be up? going to shoot soon. Yeah, when we gonna make it happen, bro? I don't know, man. You know, I'll just be talking shit. That's right, that's right. I know. I you know. gotta, you gotta come pick me up, nigga. We've been, get we've been the bullets making plans for pick. a month, nigga. If you, if you actually come get me with guns, I'm gonna go. But right, as far man. as planning it, that's crazy. I don't know how to do it. 
All right, well, let's not let's not play in this robbery. <laughs> it's fucking crazy, you niggas. About to pull a dead president. <laughs> if you go pick me up with guns, we gonna kill them niggas, right? <laughs> just pull. Oh shoot, I'm just a talent, right? I'm just a talent. I ain't got to produce this to drive by. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this, nigga, this, nigga, this nigga want to text. He yeah, want to make, make a thread of the shit. I don't. <laughs> I got you, shit. All right, man. Fuck. Phil Will, why Cesar Coño Lazardo? Why this cat? Man, listen, y'all told me that I was battling a black guy, but it turns out he's Dominican. <laughs> um, and I'm trying to turn him into a Dominican. I can't. <laughs> oh! Dominican, I can't breathe. Let's get it. All right, this cat is 14, 13 with one tie and one half white daughter. Make it loud, we love this cat. Cesar Lazardo! Yes! What's up? Coño! Dímelo, coño. Hey, we got a lot of Dominicans today. Hey, well, hey. y'all Dominican now, you were Haitian. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you were Haitian last week. Now all of a sudden, a lot of Dominicans. I was Indian first. Now I'm black. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. First they wanted to be Indian. Now I'm black. Touche. Touche. <laughs> Touche. Damn, it's Mofongo. Anyway, all he right. looks very Haitian. He looks very Haitian to my left. Look how black he is. He's very Haitian. All right. Um. <laughs> See, sir. Why, uh, are you and Phil, you and Phil Will here, are you guys friends? Oh, uh, yeah, we are now. He's cool. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know him like that before. You know, it was a couple of fist pounds at open mics and shit like that. <laughs> so why'd you say yes? Uh, honestly, I just want to celebrate some hate on 9-11 with some of my favorite people. You know what I mean? That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> Celebration of terrorism. That's what we're here for. So we we're are all going from the river to the sea. Damn right. So we're doing. It's a holiday. Mohammed shall be free. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just we just burn the flag of uh, of Pete Davidson in effigy. That's all we do every 9/11. All right, uh, one round, five jokes. Who's going first? You know what? I'm gonna go to uh, Frank Castillo. You're Mexican. You guys are probably the newest terrorists coming in, <laughs> taking over and shit. Um, who's going first? Uh, let's see, Cesar. Yeah. Cesar. Yeah, see, that's, that's Hispanic. Hey, you right? choose the nigga with yeah. the Spanish name. <laughs> I saw that shit. Mucho gracias, Let's papi. Let's go, Mucho gracias, papi. <laughs> All right, five jokes. Caesar's first. This is Will. Let's go! Thank you, thank you. Everybody, uh, please give it up for Shaquille O'Meal. Shaquille O'Meal, everybody. <laughs> uh, one thing Phil will never be is full. He looks like if he doesn't stop eating pig's feet, they're going to chop off one of his. Oh, a diabetes joke. <laughs> we got the diabetes joke coming from sickle cell Sid from Ice Age looking at his. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Caesar is married to a white woman from Montana. He call her, he call her Hannah Montana. Except instead of pretending to be a, a pop star, she pretends to be happily married to his broke ass. <laughs> She job, don't pretend, Caesar. you stupid ass, she's pissed. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, give it up for this hungry, hungry hotap over here. <laughs> Salutations. You know, yeah, you know, Phil talk a lot of shit and everything, but you know, he would go to a Klan rally if he found out they had good barbecue. <laughs> hey, this is good folks, they got good food. I mean, shit, pig feet is pig feet, my pig nigga. Feet. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dog. Come on, let's go eat. Let's go eat, man. Hey, we voting for Trump, right? <laughs> no. All right, let's talk about that. Talk about that. No, all right, not, all right, not. All right, never mind, never mind. I am black. <laughs> <laughs> Trump did a lot for the blacks. He did a lot for the blacks. I'm sorry. Do it one more time. Try to milk it all, all you can. <laughs> no, go ahead. It's your all turn. All right, now, um, <laughs> Caesar looked like he was the guy in high school that would try to break up fights by saying, Hey guys, why don't we just dance for it? <laughs> yeah, duh. <laughs> why fight when we could dance fight, right? Come on, guys. Yeah, give it up for uh, Darius Spears over here. 
<laughs> Dark eyed motherfucker. <laughs> you might actually recognize Phil from selling Lucy's on your corner block. Use a fake 20s and whatnot. Uh, but don't worry, nobody will ever kneel on his neck because he doesn't have one. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Fucking Caesar looked like Jafar from Aladdin if he was a street magician. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a, a Miami David Blaine who magically makes your eight ball disappear. <laughs> you know, people say I look like David Blaine, but it's all just an illusion. Uh, oh, I like that. Nah, <laughs> I like nah, that. Nah. Come on now, come on now, come on now. It's comedy. <laughs> hey, you shut the fuck up over there, goddammit. I got more jokes to tell. Um, you know, let's give, it, uh, let's give it up one time for Crispy Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. AKA Black Homer Simpson. Uh, Phil Donut know how to say no to donuts. Sorry, I had to say it in a Vietnamese accent for that one joke to work, uh, and it still didn't, but you know. <laughs> the only time he ever exercises portion control is, actually he doesn't exercise or control portions, never mind. Finish him. <laughs> Yo. Yo, hey, uh, Caesar was Team Drake, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you know them light-skinned niggas gotta stick together. <laughs> and um, it's, it's funny because both of them only became popular because underage girls can't recognize a fake gram. <laughs> 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 it's a drug dealing joke, there's layers. And... You know, Phil, uh, I, first I just wanna say, you know, these are all really, really great jokes that your girlfriend in the back wrote. So give it up for Alyssa in the back, everybody. Uh, <laughs> But you know, fun fact about- yeah, You are the joke in your relationship, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, your eyes look like you got hit by two punchlines, all right, you dark eyed motherfucker. They didn't come from you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> came, from, came from that skinny little white girl in the back. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hey, everybody, take it easy. Okay, Kanye, take it easy. All right. Everybody, take it easy, Kanye. <laughs> yes, including that one. Uh, <laughs> Phil actually knows everything there is to know about shrimp. You can bake it, boil it, saute it, broil it, deep fry, pan fry, coconut shrimp, pineapple shrimp, lemon shrimp. Shrimp dick. Po' boy. <laughs> po' boy. <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, hey, guys, hey. Average dick is actually elite dick, so fuck this guy, all right? Where's my short shrimp kings at? Yeah, I got it. They don't, yeah. Hey, come on now, first main event. Cesar Lozardo and Uncle Phil Will, man. That was... Yeah. All right, uh, different countries, different cultures. And you know what's so funny at the beginning? I, I couldn't wait to tell Phil, like, don't not call people that are of black descent not black, you know what I mean? But after that, I agree with Phil. The nigga's not, <laughs> he could be whatever he wants to be. He's not black today. Yeah. Um, hey, listen here, sickle. That so, nigga Quavo. lost. That's what happened. Um, like and I'm, I'm relieved you won, Phil. I'm glad I didn't have to lie, because again, we are going shooting soon, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to really be voting against Phil. Yeah, Phil got that. It is like Phil said. Caesar's not black. He's Dominican. All right. We know Alex Rodriguez, uh, an athlete. Let's talk to Kevin McNamara here. You saw what happened up here. Yeah, uh, this was a, a one-sided battle, which makes sense because uh, uh, Will is slanting the stage. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little upset at uh, I'm, I'm a little upset at Cesar's manager at Trader Joe's for letting him off early because <laughs> that was terrible. Hey, I work it hard, okay? Uh, <laughs> Phil, you look like someone overfed to Lib Quali. That is a good ass joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this battle looks like two guys who met in lines at an OnlyFans meet and greet. Yeah, we were meeting his girlfriend. 
but uh, I mean, we all saw what happened. Cesar, every time you try to throw something at him, Will just kind of stuck it right back in your face uh, like a shrimp dick. And <laughs> I got to give this one to Will. <laughs> they look like two niggas who got beat up at Death Row Records in the 90s. <laughs> Anyway, my guy, appreciate you, boy, coming through, Sushi. O.J. Simpson. Is that your size? Uh, Actually, I got this one already. I'm going to have to get this one back. (laughs) You big as hell. We ain't really got many sizes for you. Billy Wayne Davis. Man, that punchline right back at him. I mean, the room was on fire when you did that. That was fucking phenomenal. And then you just kept setting him up like y'all are friends. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like in the middle of it I was like oh this is like there was like a good team <laughs> you know what I mean you're the straight guy with like no jokes <laughs> and that motherfucker's just killing <laughs> standing there hell yeah brother God. it's just it's almost like you like Seek silence from the audience. <laughs> like, just sitting in it is your kink. <laughs> Fucking Uncle Phil one. Good job. Mm-mm-mm. All right, Aaron Belisle. It's going to take you a second to type some shit out. Um, <laughs> so who'd you like, Patrice O'Neill or the cancer that killed him? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me, it Brian. It is, because I do it's a appreciate joke, that. because he didn't die of cancer. Yeah, so I was going to say, it wasn't out. diabetes. <laughs> my God, y'all. They did so many for that. Anyway, go ahead. This would have been way better <laughs> if Caesar couldn't talk. This would have been way better if Caesar couldn't talk. <laughs> Tap. That was like watching me try to fist fight Phil Will. He definitely <laughs> won that one. <laughs> the only time I laughed at Caesar was when I was laughing at how bad he was. <laughs> Caesar looks like a terrorist with no life skills. <laughs> Phil looks like he plays football but can't spell football. <laughs> he win. Yeah! Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to go to Jay Live before I go to Omid here. You want to toss someone all the way down there? Jay, who did you like? Suge Knight or Sugar in His Tank? <laughs> <laughs> this is good. I like this battle between uh, uh, a raft and the guy who had to take the raft to get over to this fucking country. I like this bodega transaction a lot. This is a great battle. I mean, it's crazy because Caesar, it was started out pretty even. Caesar and Phil, you were both pretty even to start off. And then Phil just started take after the street magician Jafar joke and the Miami David Blaine joke. Like you literally, you guys heard there's literally a momentum shift that happened. It took, shook the whole fucking building after that. And Caesar just couldn't come back from that. Uh, the fake Graham, the you are the joke, the two punchline shrimp. Like Phil, you were, you were so locked in tonight and that was so fucking great to watch. And, uh, Caesar, I'm glad you have a, uh, an excuse to get out of the house. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's fucking get it. I mean, who'd you like here? The strip club bodyguard or the uh, nigga who won't leave the champagne room? I got to give it to Muhammad All You Can Eat over there. He fucking... Uh... He killed it. All those jokes were so funny. Caesar, I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing you, baby. Just, you know... <laughs> Because there's only it, the, only you have this style of it just making the room hate you so hard. But Phil, you crushed it. Every that you should start your own improv school or something like that and teach people how to shrimp dick. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it's right there. It's right there. Um, gotta give it to Phil. Phil will. Gotta give it to Phil Will. Folks, make a loud. Uncle Phil Will! From Atlanta! Get your Bob's liquor. Get your Bob's liquor. Bob's liquor. 
What's up, everybody? Roast Battle League Commissioner Pat Barker here, and I wanted to take a second to talk to you about our friends at HelloFresh. HelloFresh is America's number one meal prep kit for a reason. There's lots of great choices there. If you uh, want to have some fun cooking at home, HelloFresh is the way to do it. They have everything, whether you want uh, something for picky kids, whether you want to in uh, increase your protein, decrease your calories, whatever you want to do, they have it. It's there. It's available. It's delicious. And most importantly, it's simple. You're going to want to go to their website and check out the special deal that we have for you guys right now. And uh, trust me, you're going to want to do this. I did it. I got some of the meals. They were absolutely awesome. You're going to love them too. For the specifics, let me uh, let me tell you exactly what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to get 10 free meals. You heard me right. 10 free meals. Have you seen the price of a meal in this economy? That's like a million dollar savings. You're going to want to go to HelloFresh.com slash free RBL. That is right. That's free RBL, of course, for Roast Battle League. This will be applied across seven boxes, and it's for new subscribers only. The deals vary by plan, so you're going to want to check out the, 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 the fine print and everything like that, but you're wanna, going to want to go to HelloFresh.com slash free RBL for 10 free HelloFresh meals just by going to HelloFresh.com slash free RBL. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Terrorism is doing so well tonight. Six minutes to go. I love it. All right, we got uh, six minutes to go. Are we doing a countdown? Like it's fucking New Year's Eve? All right. well, we should have started at 9-11, right? Great point. All right, uh, let's get to main event number two. Excited about this one. It's ladies first. 16 and three, only three losses from the Bay Area. Morgan Anderson. <laughs> Yes! Hello, Morgan. All right. All right. <laughs> a lot of fans in here. All right. You're battling uh, Ryan Nesson. Welcome to the show. Guys, say hi to Morgan, everybody. Oh, let's make it feel comfortable in here. There are a lot of white men who are going to judge you, so let's make it as comfortable as possible. All right. Uh, you're battling Ryan Nesson from Los Angeles. The world champ. Why are you doing this to him? Okay. All right. Let's. Uh, let's uh, great. Great start, Morgan. <laughs> Make a laugh for this guy. He's the world champ, Ryan Nesson. Yes. What up, dude? Welcome back, man. She's chomping at the fucking bit to battle. You're 25 and 10 in this thing. She's only lost three times. Why did you say yes to Morgan? I mean, I figured it's. Almost 9-11, you know? So I might as well roast something that goes down easy also. So let's fucking do it. I should have just said because you paired us together. <laughs> may have worked better. Yes. Outstanding. Nice All right. Try. Um, We're off to jokes. a good start, guys. Five jokes, you two. Who's going first? I'm going to go first. You got this? Yep. You're a gentleman. Are we ready for this? Yeah! NorCal. That's SoCal. That's the world champ. This is Morgan. Let's roast! Oh, thank you for taking time off telling women why they're wrong to be here tonight. Uh, this human muscle milk bar is Ryan, um, which is weird because he looks like he's allergic to milk and muscles. Guys, uh, keep it going for Morgan. She took time away from crying into her pillow to be here. Uh, Morgan's like a human tampon. She's white, covered in plastic, and just hanging on by a thread. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Jan Samos. Uh, even Ryan's eyes are tired of hearing him fucking talk. <laughs> Ryan's, so, Ryan's face is so unmemorable that not even his victims can pick him up out of a lineup. Morgan, you really should smile more, but I know you're against... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I look like a guy that would say that, right? Uh, Morgan was molested when she was three. Yeah, I was really hot. No, no. I, mean, I saw the picture, it's not true. Uh, yeah, she was molested when she was three, uh, which must mean she started talking at four. Uh, yeah, her first words were, you're gonna call me, right? <laughs> 
Oh, man. Uh, thank you, John Jusak. <clears throat> Uh, Ryan is Jewish, but he's really terrible with numbers. So bad, in fact, that when he was young, his parents thought he was dyslexic. But it turns out he learned to count by reading his great aunt's arm. <laughs> That's true. I had family die in the Holocaust. <laughs> yeah, Morgan's also had a lot of buns die in her oven. Uh, so... <laughs> Morgan has an OnlyFans. Yuck. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm hoping it's from here down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Morgan's face uh, looks old, English, and 40, which is why guys cover it with a paper bag when they slam her. Yeah. It's a great old English joke. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Retardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Ryan told me his favorite movie is The Departed. Um, he didn't actually mean the film. Uh, he meant the home vo video of his father's funeral. <laughs> yeah, <used> <laughs> Jeez, too, too much, too much. Too much, too much. Uh, yeah, Morgan's dad has dementia. Yeah. Yeah, he can't remember her name. So he's just like every other guy that she's fucked. <laughs> Uh, thank you, no DiMaggio. Uh, <laughs> Ryan's baseball career went the same direction as his sex life. Uh, it got stuck in the minors. Guys, Morgan has a six-pack of abs, which is a crazy thing to call your abortions. Uh, either way, your stomach's ripped. Uh, <laughs> Morgan's pussy's so haunted, guys don't come in her, they ghost bust in her. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I was worried, but that's a fucking rose battle! Keep me going, Ryan Nesson, Morgan Anderson, Morgan Anderson, Bay Area, the hometown guy, Ryan Nesson. That... That was a fight, man. That ups and downs there. Hatred, what'd you think? Uh, it was it was it was uh it was uh, it was, uh, it was a good battle, right? Um, I thought you had it at first and then he came and I just love abortion jokes, you know. It's one of me and my girl's favorite things to do, you know. So to be honest, I probably are gonna have to give it to Ryan. Um, but you did great, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you this shirt of this nigga with a fade. And a bitch getting fucked in doggy inside the face. Show the crowd that shirt. Let them see that. Is that a good one? That. Yeah, there you go. Good old fade. You like niggas? Do you fuck niggas? Is that what you? No? You like right. hieroglyphics? Yeah, you see what's going on. That's what's up. I'm going to find something for you too, winner. But yeah, Ryan. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kevin Mack, you've done this before. You've seen how this thing works. This was a lot of ups and downs here. It's like a real fight here. It felt like... She was kind of you no know, nudging at first, and he kind of came back. A lot of big pops on both sides. A lot of great jokes on both sides. Who did you like? Well, I got to say, it, I'm glad that there's finally a battle with a couple battlers I would trust at my house. Uh, <laughs> uh, listen, this, uh, this battle looked like it should have happened at a strip club in Bakersfield. It almost did. <laughs> it should have. Uh, it's like a suicide girl versus a guy whose girlfriend committed suicide. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, used that excuse before. Nice. Uh, once or twice. She deserved it. Uh, I got to say, um, I had this battle 5-3 in, in Ryan's. Uh, his, he had these three-part jokes, and every single joke hit. And it's, it's, it's beautiful to see. So, Ryan. Okay, okay. That's one for Ryan. I feel like I need a lady to say something. Is there any, like, gross battle ladies in here? No? Yeah, because fucking chicks don't like us. All right. Uh, clearly, I can only book white guys on this show. These guys never get booked anywhere except for Billy. Um, let's, let's go to Jay here. Who'd you like? Man, I mean, this is a really great battle. One more, one more time for both these guys. This is great. They had to overcome almost being the building seven of the show tonight and almost a battle that everybody completely fucking forgot about. That could have been... <laughs> that was great, though. You guys both... And this was, I think, Moses was right on about the, the momentum shifts. Um, I do think... 
Man. Honestly, I had it scored pretty even. I feel like Morgan took it in the first half. Ryan came back in the second half, but I feel like it sort of was a wash, and I would like to see one more joke. That's what Whoa, I thought. Whoa! Okay. BWD, do you want to see an overtime? I mean, I was... Oh. It, yeah, I mean, because Ryan got the momentum at the end, but it was so back and forth. And it's just like, it's like Casey Anthony versus... Scott Peterson? That's... <laughs> That's where I was going. Uh, yeah, let's do one more joke. Let's do that. So I got one for Ryan. I got one more joke. Aaron? I'll give my feedback as a lady. Thank you, Aaron. I was waiting for this. He changed the voice. Yeah, yeah. Now we have a lady. Yeah, now we have a lady's perspective. Thank God. Shout out AI. Fuck. Saving the day. Morgan Anderson's voice sounds like her throat is just coated in cum. <laughs> a lady would say that. A lady would know. <laughs> Ryan looks like the guy who molested Morgan when she was three. Aaron! Belial! That is... How do, you, how do you know that? Listen, you were both great. It was back and forth, and you were both winning. It was great, but at the end, Ryan got it. Hell yeah. I no, mean... no one knows what to do when he's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever, everybody was like, what the fuck? Yeah. It just says the N word at the end. <laughs> Like, all right, uh, we feel better now. All right, go ahead, Obi. Great battle. I don't think you need an extra joke, honestly. Ryan, the roids are looking good. Congratulations. Morgan is uh, saving nuts in her mouth for winter, which is great as well. A little chipmunk. All right, funny. A little chipmunk joke, you know. Just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> Amazing, everybody. The adorable terrorists. Happy 9-11. And... Oh. Uh, I got to give it to Ryan. Ryan, you crushed it. All those jokes were so funny, and you, you, you really nailed it, buddy. Well, audience, uh, it looks like the judges beat you guys. Sorry about that. So your world champ is your winner.